China's top political advisor Wang Yang says the CPPCC has played a crucial role in helping the country face challenges during the past five years. He vowed that the agency will work to further support the country's social economic development through political consultation. We should implement the regulations on CPPCC consultancy work so that the CPPCC can further promote the scientific and democratic decision-making process and consensus formulation. We should consult on strategic deployment of building China into modern socialist country. We should optimize the mechanism of the CPPCC, improve efficiency, and strengthen the CPPCC's role in political inspection. Wan also stressed the importance of unity and democracy, saying they reflect the characteristics and advantages of the CPPCC. The CPPCC will continue to work on grand unity of all parties as well as people from all ethnic groups. Through consultancy, we can form consensus. This is what true democracy is like. The CPPCC National Committee's new leadership, including its chairpersons, will be chosen at this year's session. Over 2,000 members of the 14th CPPCC National Committee will also kickstart their five-year term. The political advisors are expected to discuss a range of social and political issues and put forward their proposals at the conference. The CPPCC National Committee has received over 29,000 proposals over the past five years on a range of topics and issues all had the same goal, push China's development and advance the well-being of its 1.4 billion people. Sun Tianyuan, CGTN, at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing.